Thank you. And then President Biden is calling these reports about the administration paying up to $450,000 to illegal immigrants who are separated from family members garbage. He says it's not going to happen. But the ACLU says that it is. So who is right? What, are you talking about the question you asked him yesterday? Yes. So um, if it saves taxpayer dollars, and puts uh, the disastrous history of the previous administration's use of zero tolerance and family separation behind us. The president is perfectly comfortable with the Department of Justice settling with the individuals and families who are currently in litigation with the U.S. government. You know, DOJ can obviously speak more to that process. The president was, what he was reacting to uh, was the dollar figure that was mentioned, that you mentioned to him yesterday. Uh, as press accounts to date indicate, there's been press accounts on this, DOJ DOJ made clear to the plaintiffs that the reported figures are higher than anywhere that a settlement can land. Again, this is a this is something that the Department of Justice can can speak to. I, I do not have anything more to add but, to this. But if it's not if he's not okay with four hundred fifty thousand dollars, how much money is he okay giving? This is some again, Peter. This is something that the Department of Justice is going to handle. I just laid out what he was thinking and how this is the process was moving forward. I, the, the and, DOJ will talk to the specifics and, of and this. And so, what changed then from yesterday? You're saying that he would be perfectly comfortable settling with these families who broke the law to come here, but yesterday he said that's not going to happen. I, first of all, let's remember how we got here. How we got to a place where we're dealing with families being separated. This is coming from the last administration cruel, inhuman, immoral, immoral uh, policies against 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 just people. It's separating children from their families, 18-month-olds, two-year-olds, five-year-olds from their families. That's how we got here, is because of the last administration. This is what we're trying to deal with here in this administration. So let's be very clear of how we got here and what's happening. Anything else that you would like to know about this, again, I'll, I'll, I'll send you to the Department of Justice. I can't speak to specifics.